the same thing. Every year today on 17th of uh, May, it will be doing exactly the same thing. Uh, so if you are a sun type of person, you don't like change. <laughs> you are doing exactly the same thing. So that is the Atma, the soul. Then Buddhi uh, is Mercury, which deals with also our discrimination power. Uh, and Manas, man, mind, is the moon, which is actually part of Buddhi. It is a total mind out of which we have the intellectual mind and the emotional mind. So there, sometimes we tend to think about uh, moon purely emotional, but moon has a lot of control on discrimination as well. But an out of control moon, moon or I, I like what Swamiji said yesterday, untrained moon, means that, that he's just doing what he feels like. I want to cry, I'm crying. If I want to be happy, I'm happy. Whereas uh, when you see the Swamis and you see the people who are developed in their practice, they don't hurt so much and they don't be happy so much either <laughs> because they don't go to the extremes. So Buddhi, which in mythology, Mercury is the child of the moon. So Buddhi is the child of Manas, the mind, and Mercury represents astrologically. And Mercury is also mercurial, just like what we talk about Merc Mercury. It goes up and down, just like the sun, moon. So it's, not, it's changeable. And Mercury has another phenomena, which is that it turns retrograde. And its journey is very interesting because it's always close to the sun. And being with the sun, it travels, uh, too close to it, it runs away from it, and then the sun pulls it back. So it goes back to the sun, then it goes behind it, but then it goes too behind, then the sun says, come on, come forward quickly. So this retrograde aspect of Mercury, it's like our mind changes. So the mind retrogrades, it does it three times a year. So it's a regular occurrence, but we don't know when it's happening. I will give you the dates. That's why I'm my computer today. But Mercury retrogrades three times a year. And it, in this retrograde, it also goes behind the sun six times a year. And all the time when the Mercury retrogrades, you're walking straight or thinking straight, suddenly your mind thinking changes. So you are into commitment. And to your sadhana, suddenly the mind says, oh no, this is not what, this is not right. Uh, I should be doing something else. And then you had six weeks, uh, three, it's uh, not very really long, the retrograde, it's about three weeks. Then it goes direct again, then you're back on to the sadhana. Or something comes, it's not always that you have changed the mind. Some event takes place, some thinking thing that shifts your energy. So as I said that the, the main practice, what was being told from the forefathers and as growing up in India, this was told to us rise from childhood, that you know, keep your practice, do the thing, regular, regular, regular. So during these phases, we have to be even more conscious that we are going to feel um, unsettled. And the main time will be really tomorrow when Mercury turns retrograde. Nothing happens because it is a natural phenomena, just like the eclipses, it happens every year. Sometimes Mercury can turn retrograde even four times a year. But uh, normally three is there. It, it's about 20 days that it is retrograde. And in this retrograde motion, what happens is that if you think Mercury has gone too far away from the sun, so if you think sun is atma, sun is light, that means the mind has gone too far away from the sun. If you look at the same aspect slightly differently, that it's uh, not just that uh, we are changing our mind, but we have moved away from our uh, source of light. So we are coming back to the light. So we are using this time of more re-energizing our source energy our inspiration, our super mind.
you know, the, the super consciousness. But this can only be done if you are conscious, if you are trained with it. Now these uh, aspects are usually available, you can find them online when Mercury does retrograde. You could just put Mercury retrograde 2015, somebody will have written about it. But you have to think what I'm saying to you about this. So tomorrow Mercury will turn retrograde. So as a trained yogi person, person, what you're thinking is, wow, this is a good time of me to internalize, not to change my mind. Because what, what is the changing of mind? That's the mind of the untrained person. The untrained person says, oh, this is wrong. <laughs> but if you know this is a part of your yearly practice, so the, uh, somebody described uh, Mercury very well that it goes back and it refuels itself. So at a retrograde on a spiritual level you think it's going back to the source to refuel itself. Uh, I don't remember who said it, but so I just want to say it's not my thinking, but it's this whole thing about uh, going back to the source of light. But the, the, the three Levels of consciousness were very important in that. And so yesterday hearing them with Swamiji talking about them really made sense to me. So, but at the same time, if you are untrained, if you are unaware, your subconscious can be, it can make you suddenly change your mind, suddenly think. So the average person who is not even trying to improve themselves will automatically do that. But don't feel that just because you are a yogi, you won't change your mind. <laughs> you know, this is the thing, we, we find this with astrologers, they think because they are astrologers, they won't get affected by planets. That's not true. <laughs> you know, the same way, if you are a yogi, then these things will affect you. But your thing is, your reaction has to be a bit different. So the, um, so think about this tomorrow and over this next period while you are here. So I'm just going to um, give you the dates for the Mercury retrograde. And, um, So we have uh, three retrogrades, so this one that is starting tomorrow, 18th of uh, uh, July, and it uh, will um, finish on 11th of June. And then the next retrograde is 17th of September and ends on 9th of October. And the one after that is 25th of January. And, no, I think, I, no, that's different, sorry. 5th of January ends on 25th of January. So these are, as I said, they are regular phenomena, but Mercury is the buddhi. It's about your discrimination. And so there's some aspect of it. And some, usually what happens is that Mercury deals with communication. So sometimes there's a disconnect. You may forget an appointment, you are here, you have a routine, but you may some, say something that hurt, is hurtful or you may hear something. So there's some disconnection. But rather than reacting instantly to that, you have to then think, okay, how am I going to deal with it? What am I going to do about it? So Mercury is actually uh, quite comfortable in Taurus where it's retrograding tomorrow. It's not in a um, difficult position, but it has a lot of influences on it. So I think that they can, you can sometimes feel that a lot of influences coming to you and therefore how to 
uh, process that information. So sometimes you can think that your processing is uh, having a little bit of uh, blockage. And sometimes the mind gets over-processing, you know, in a double quick time. Yesterday in the music, the raga was first slow and then it went fast, so the mind can do that. So you remember that. Then what I find is that in, uh, in an annual looking at the planets, you see that one area of time is usually weak. Now this year we've uh, um, dealt with one already, which was March 2015. But the next time when there's quite a bit of drama is uh, end of July, August, September. You know, I already told you about the September eclipses. So the eclipses are, sh again, some kind of energy that is wakening us up to more higher possibility. Uh, but before that, we have um, two planets that are uh, doing something interesting. One is Mars, which is going to be debilitated. And Mars is going to be debilitated from